Dumb customers on Hardcore Pawn. Hello. Hello. How can I help you? I'm selling my iPod today. How much are you looking for? Two fifty. This is my grandson. I don't want you taking advantage of him. You have a girlfriend? Yes. Uh, anniversary. So it's almost time for them to get married, huh? I don't like the girl anyway. Well, she's a hussy, I think. This next customer enters the pawn shop looking to get money for his iPod. The customer came with his grandma, which was a bit awkward, but the customer needed the money for an anniversary present. Hey, my man. Looking at this, probably looking at about 80 bucks. So what do you want to do? Going to sell it. Oh, I can't believe he did that all for this hussy. Seth offered the customer 80 bucks for his iPod, and they eventually came to a deal. Cone freakout. That's one I like, the green one. No, I need the green one. The green one, I told you I wanted. You weren't the high bidder. He bought the red one. No, the green one, man. No, I, I, you tell him the green one, not the red one. I didn't want this one customer leaving unhappy. I told him I need to, to cut the grass, not to, to cut this, the snow. But now he goes outside, acting like a fool. This next customer starts causing a massive scene after he lost a bid for an item. Les was in an extremely good mood and didn't want anyone to be in a bad mood, so he took some time to talk to the customer and help. Come on, shake the ass. Sorry, what'd you say? Well, then shut the up. Yeah, give me some money back and don't give him anything. You live from Zuzu? you. Don't pay me for anything, just get the up. This guy is ranting, raving, idiot. Stand up, this piece. What the from now on, he's not allowed in the- The customer started speaking in another language while he was talking to Les, and that's when things got hectic, and the two started shouting insults at each other. The customer then picked up one of the cones. Nasty dude. I'm trying to find some jewelry for my daughter. She's gonna be 12. Yep. Do you wanna play next? I've got allergies. I'm not picking it, I promise. But we have a heart one. Can I see it? I can't try and, like, look at it. Can I touch it, though? That's bull. $75 in this watch. The following customer enters the pawn shop looking to get some jewelry for her daughter. This guy was just nasty as he started to pick his nose in the middle of this deal, and Ashley was rightfully disgusted. He didn't have to touch it with his snotty hands. I'm not going to use sanitizer. Go yourself. Have a good day, sir. Go, Go ahead, Go ahead my man. Hasta la vista, snap boy. Clean up. Ashley showed the customer a few pieces, but he got mad that she wouldn't let him touch the pieces. TV dork. Hey, I gotta get to work. I need my TV. Sure. So all I need to do is need to stand in line over there. You've been in there all day. Give me my TV. I'm not standing in line. I said I've been in line all day. I'm here till 6 o'clock, so we can have this conversation till 6 o'clock if you'd like. I gotta go to work, but if I'm gonna so get, if fired, you don't I'm care. get fired, I'm gonna get fired. Why you just can't go through the door and get my TV? Because I said I can't. The following customer was in a rush, as they had to go work soon, and they asked to get their TV out of the shop. Les respectfully told the customer to get in line, and that's when she got extremely rude. Duh, man, I'm gonna go get my stuff. My stuff, man. Watch out, man. I ain't getting thrown that's out it. of nothing, that's dog. It. Don't touch me, dog. Don't touch me, dog. What y'all gonna do? How the police come? Hello? Daddy. Hey, I'm up at this weak-ass pawn shop, man. They won't give me my TV. You did what? You got it? When you come and get my TV? What you mean you got it? This customer just had zero patience, and even tried to get the TV out of the shop herself. She took things too far, and that's when the security started to remove her from the shop. It turns out that her father already got the TV. You did what? Why, uh, why wouldn't you call me and tell me that you got my TV? Her dad already picked up the TV. All right, man, I'll give a f man. Go to work. Go back. Why, if you was at work, why are you still standing out here? Good, well, I'll I'm, be back. I'm, lucky. I'm not through. That's just how I go. It's life. The customer was still being extremely disrespectful even after she had her TV all along. Couple drama. My name is Nate. Um, this is my partner, Manny. Drag me down here. We you know. He wants to be here. Ain't that right? This stuff is used. I don't do used stuff. Queen-like. Yeah, I'm a queen, so I like this. Blue. We both like blue. It's used. You were used when I got you. We're looking for some furniture. I want something bright, colorful. Bright and colorful. Mm -hmm. Following couple enter the pawn shop looking to purchase some furniture. Things got extremely awkward when one of the men didn't like anything in the store. This customer had crazy expectations for a pawn shop. You want a rainbow couch? Yeah. Black leather here. I think that's really nice. I'm done with this conversation. So he's got to go with bright. You got to go with dark. Why don't we find something in the middle? Come right here and touch it. Why would I touch that? What the It's f nice. It's you. You can go tell somebody else that lie. Next. Okay, just, 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 Next. just sit down. Look okay, at I'm it. I'm done. Nice. Come down. Come down like the two just couldn't agree on anything, and they spent the entire time in the shop just arguing with each other. Rich saw this whole thing go down and attempted to help them out. Eventually, things get hectic. Don't come into my store. Start having this conversation. You. you. Go back to your house. Burn it for what? Because that's used. 
The two men started to yell petty insults at each other. Sugar Mommy. Hi. Hi. I'd like to get rid of my wedding ring. I want to get away. Does he know you're leaving? She was telling me a few things. You're just like my husband. Mm. Are you yeah. into tall guys, really tall? Oh, I want to sell it. It was a nice set stone. This next woman enters the pawn shop looking to get rid of her wedding ring. She wanted to leave him for good and was in the market for a new man. She wanted to ball out and Les took a close look at the ring she had. It was 18 karat gold, but it had imperfection. 10K? It would be less than 4,000. Why? Wow. Flaw, the little mark in the middle of it. Oh, yeah. Why can't you give me 10,000 for it? You're tighter than a bull's ass in fly time. You got a tight ass. It would be under 4000 That is a sucker price. While the ring had some value, it had numerous imperfections that would decrease its value. When Les told the customer, she started to say the weirdest things ever, and Les wasn't going to allow this behavior. Who the hell is she to talk about me? I don't want to insult you. I've got your insult. I do, I do like tall. I'll just take my ring and you, and we'll go to the casino. I came out ahead. Hey, I may have a sugar mama, you know? Oh my God, baby, she's crazy, you know? Woohoo! The customer insulted the shop, and that's when Les calls over security to kick her out of the shop. That's when things took a wild turn as the customer started to flirt with the security, and things got extremely freaky. System malfunction. You got me up. No, I'm not waiting for the computer. Just give Sir, me my ring. What's the issue? I need my ring. Our computer system is down. Come on, I put all this money down. I knew I shouldn't have come here. Be right out there, okay? All right, all right. Five minutes. Hold on. Pay my money, and they can't even give me my back. Right. This next customer starts causing a massive scene as he was looking to get a ring out of the pawn shop. The shop's computer system was down and there was a massive delay, but Ashley really wanted to help out. Step aside so I can tell the other customers. Get it back and then all of a sudden they ain't got it no more. Thank you. It's, it's not ring. right. It's not right. Uh, oh all God. I can tell you is buy me oh more time. God. Our computer system's printing out duplicate numbers and if we don't fix it, we're f Hey! Somebody, they got my ring right here. I found my ring is right here. Seth attempted to find this customer's ring, but they couldn't find it as the shop had duplicate tickets due to the computer system malfunctioning. The customer then claims that the shop was selling his ring. Hey, here's my right here. Really? Inside it, you can see there's inscriptions 14 karat gold. Do you think your ring is the only ring that says 14 karat gold? Same, so I, know, I, I know exactly where it's at. It's right and I can't get it out because our computer system is down. So if you want to leave because you're making a huge spectacle. You got one hour. You better have it. Okay, have a good day. The customer started to throw a massive tantrum and claimed that the shop had his ring on display. This customer wasn't the smartest as it did not cross his mind that the shop would have multiple rings similar to his. Tattoo advertising. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How you Good. doing? I can do your human billboard. What does that mean? Go ahead and tattoo your logo on me. Be proud to wear it. Really? Definitely. So what do you want to do? He would tattoo our logo. Where? Wherever you guys choose to put it. I don't think that this guy was thinking through this. The following customer enters the pawn shop with a very unique offer. The customer offered to be a walking billboard and get a tattoo of the shop logo for some money. This was extremely unusual and a first. So why the f*** would this guy get it done? You got any tattoos underneath? Holy moly. I got a whole bunch of free space oh. right here. Would you include our website? But you don't see me going out and getting a tattoo of this place. I'm looking in the range for about $1,000. 200 bucks. Because I do. Is this guy really going to go through with this? 200. Hold on. Wait, you have to bucks. think of... We'll figure out where no. it goes. It turns out that the customer already had a ton of tattoos, but Seth and Ashley were rightfully a bit uncomfortable with this customer's offer. Les, on the other hand, was interested in making a deal. Human being with an American jewelry tattoo. You wear a shirt, so you'd be covering it up. No, I wouldn't be covering it up. Can't find no work, nowhere. The guy's going to have to wake up tomorrow with a big American jewelry and loan logo on his stomach. Okay. I don't feel comfortable paying him to do it. I really don't give a damn what my kids say. But it ain't gonna happen. I got $200 bills waiting for you. We'll take care of the tattoo. The customer clearly wasn't thinking straight and was acting out of desperation as he didn't have a job. Les didn't really care and thought this would be an interesting purchase, so he offered the customer 200 bucks to do this. Round five, four, I'll, I'll take it. Can't do it. I could have had 50 or 60 years of advertising. The wow factor would have definitely brought us business. Buy a shirt. <laughs> the two weren't able to make a deal, 
and that's probably for the best, to be honest. Car deal. What do we have? Got a 95 Camaro. How long have you owned it? About eight months. Sounds like shit. Smell, the look. The guys did not keep this car up one bit. What kind of car is 37? I'd like to get 28. You know, you want to just get rid of it. Nothing's a gift, nothing gets given away. What's your offer? Based on the 28, you're trying to help. No one gives nothing away, because he asked us if it was a gift. The next customers were looking to sell a Camaro, and Ashley really didn't like the smell of the car. The customers were looking to get an absurd amount of money, and they started to get extremely aggressive with the staff. I don't know why you're being so rude to me, but he's sitting there bitching at me and complaining at me. You got an issue with me. It's his car. My sister gets into an argument with a customer about a Camaro. I'm sorry, I'm walking inside. Want to join me inside? I was listening to this one. I'm really not interested in giving him a dollar. Your yeah. personality. Yeah. Inside. Okay. That's why we don't buy emotion. When you come to sell us something, we're here to help you. Ashley was just sick of one of the customers, so she got into a bit of a heated argument with them. Ashley really wasn't having it and left the deal entirely, but Seth still wanted to make a deal and didn't want emotions to get in the way. I've been doing this a long time. It pisses me off when you think I'm here to rip you off. It's gonna get ugly real quick. I don't really care. I don't mean to insult you if that's what you think. It's strictly business. I'm a, I'm a businessman yeah. as well. I, I can yeah. respect We appreciate it. Well, thanks for, thanks coming for in. your time. When you let your emotions take over, you're gonna make a bad decision. Les felt insulted that these customers said he was going to rip him off. Les respectfully told the customers that he wasn't interested in making a deal for the item. The customers were understanding and left the shop peacefully. Online dating. Hi. Hi, how are you? Peter. I'm here today uh, and buying some jewelry. A couple of watches. Uh, there's a reason I'm here today. Um, my fiance is in the Ukraine. So. Are you originally from there? I was born and raised here. No, don't really socialize that much. I invested in, in a Russian dating site. The following customer enters the pawn shop, looking to get money for some watches and rings he had. It turns out this customer's fiance was in Ukraine, whom he met on a Russian dating site, which was crazy. I was able to meet Lena. Are you kidding me? I went to see her for the first time, and we got engaged. You've only been with your fiance twice? I can't believe this guy was so open to tell me about his sketchy relationship. $1,100. Not gonna be anywhere near that. It's worth money, but not as much as he wanted. The customer had only seen his fiance twice and was still looking to marry her. The customer was looking to get big money for his items, but they sadly were not worth much. And Ashley was a little confused by his story. How about 525? How about 450? You know what? I'll take five for the ring. I think I'll pass. Split it with you. 475. You got a deal. You got a deal? Yeah. Thank you, Peter. And then I'll bring her down and introduce her to Ashley. The customer was definitely a bit disappointed by after some brief negotiations, the customer and Ashley were able to work out a deal. Laptop woes. How you doing? This laptop? Okay. I gotta get a new camera. What you looking for? 250 for that. Uh, you're probably gonna need a plug. I don't have a plug for it or anything. I figured you guys would have a plug here. You bring it in without the power cord. Everyone knows that American jewelry and loan attracts all kinds of weirdos. I can't fire it up. I can't determine what it is. Out of all them plugs, you ain't got no plugs. No. But I mean, this yeah. is a laptop, man. It's nice. Yeah, but I don't you know even know if it belongs it's... to you. I'm not taking it anywhere. The worst part? The man didn't even come to the shop with a plug to charge the machine up with. Does it really belong to him? Sure, a five dollar plug, turn right on, bam, you're good. You broke my camera, I gotta do your video. Oh, this is what I'm, what I'm saying, saying, man. You, you got, you got all this around here. Can I talk to somebody that no, can, like, help me out? You're the guy, you're the only guy. I'm the guy that you, you ain't gonna do to. nothing for him. All of this makes Seth wonder whether the laptop even belongs to the man. And when he brings that up, the man starts getting worked up once again. You know what? You're not gonna disrespect me in my store, so why don't you get out? Get out. Oh, who do you that at? Bro, don't waste your time up in here. Made a scene for nothing. I wouldn't even came with you could have left me at the crib, bro. But once the man crosses a hard boundary with his behavior, Seth wants him out of there as soon as possible. He is not going to entertain anyone who misbehaves. Line up. Had to pick up my TV. You have to wait in line. Everybody been cutting line before I did. I want my stuff now. Boy. This man is in such a hurry to get his TV out of the pawn shop. Why are people always acting so cuckoo in here? I don't have to put up with all this. Everybody be cutting Come on, man. Let's go. Hey, y'all need to chill out. Y'all need to chill out. I'm going to come out there. So, I don't care why you coming out here. Now, Ashley is right there watching all of this go down. So she walks up to the counter to politely ask the man to stand in line just like everyone else. What you gonna do? Yeah, I want my TV. I am not in the mood. I, I want my TV right okay. now. Well, I want you to lower your voice. I'm right here, not over there. They just cut in line before I did. Oh, I want my TV now. 
the man continues to throw his tantrum, and Ashley immediately starts putting him in his place. And once she starts, he practically has no argument to make. And I want your ass out of the store. Man, that's all I ask for in my TV, man. Man, what happened? You can't follow the rules. You need to leave the store. I don't want chaos here. She's had enough of this man's insane drama, and she doesn't want to wait one more second. Hair necessities. Hi, last I'm John Fuller. I'm Bobby J. It's an eye grow laser hair growth system. It has headphones on there that you can listen to your favorite music. Well, I didn't use the thing. Oh, here, you put it on. Les and Bobby are met with this man who comes into the pawn shop with one of the weirdest contraptions that you will ever see. I think he'd use it. Looks great. But listen, there's a lot of bald people out there. Oh, I heard something. Yeah, I hear. see it starting to flash. It, it grows stimulates hair. your hair growth system. It, it <laughs> looks like an the man goes ahead and puts this thing on Bobby and Les, is having a great time learning about it. He's curious about how this device works. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels warm. Hey, just, just growing some hair. Believe it or not, she paid almost $700 for it. How okay. much would you take for this thing? I would like, I'd like to get 600 But as interested as Les is, when he hears the price of this device, that doesn't actually seem to be doing anything groundbreaking. He's shocked, to say the least. The man wants a hefty amount for this hair-growing machine. It's not something that you're probably going to resell. You don't think any of your staff would use it? No. How about 50 bucks? I would like to stick around the 450, 500 mark, but I appreciate it very, Thank you very, very much. much. I I like how look at that, he looks wonderful. Take care, thanks. I don't know what I would do. I'm fine with this guy. That's for damn sure. Did these go away? It's safe to say that the men don't agree on a deal since the price the seller is asking for is a little too much for Les, who doesn't want to pay more than $50 for this thing. The man seems to believe that Les is going to be running after him. Move it. I'm here. Um, I was trying to sell these steroids that my granddad had and got me this. Try it. Say I'm a uh, vulgar. I'm about to go to international. What is vulgar? This young man walks into the pawn shop and right off the bat, his behavior is a little strange to say the least. That hurt. Wow! Ow! Holy man. I want five hundred for that. Five hundred dollars isn't going to happen. It will. This I... isn't real. Ashley and Bobby watch, completely fascinated by this young man's talents. But then it's time for what he's really there for. Okay, y'all gonna have to go back there and give my Gucci Gucci five hundred. Let more. me go to international. Oh, you the manager. Yes. But anyway, Here, and how about see? I throw these earrings up in the air and your ass out the door? Turns out that the earrings are totally fake. But the seller doesn't seem to understand what Bobby is saying to him. Thank. Thank you. 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 Thank you.